Yo, what is up everybody and welcome back to another man 16 ultimate team budget squad game We're heading to the conference championship with a new cornerback adding another panther to the squad Josh Norman at cornerback number one It's a risky change to make going into such a big game But he just has such great zone stats that I really want to try him out David Amerson has not been replaced, but he has been benched so we'll make the Substitutions as necessary. You see, we start off the game on defense. A chance for Norman to shine and a chance for Mike Adams to shine on the user pick. Great way to start off the game after winning a nail biter in the divisional round. Odell Beckham Jr. first play getting a nice catch. We're gonna need a lot of OBJ to win this game. We're gonna need a lot of Adrian Peterson as well. Purple Jesus carrying the pile to the seven yard line. Also gonna need a nice dosage of Amari Cooper as AP getting some good blocks, carrying the entire Packer roster again all the way to the one yard line. That's gonna up Delaney Walker for the walking touchdown on the fullback dive early on up seven nothing looking good looking nice and um definitely liking the way our team is playing um not really gonna make any other changes for a while I, if Josh Norman works out pretty well I like the way the team is looking as Drew Brees rolls out to the outside and Drew Brees getting a nice gain if we give a place like that though we might need to make some changes of course our last two playoff games were absolute nail biters the Super Bowl we almost lost as our opponent throws it up in the air and it's eventually broken up by Josh Norman and then, of course, that last game, we needed a last-second Amari Cooper touchdown to get the win. As you guys saw, he went in the middle of the field right there. Got the catch over Glover Gwynn, and we almost got the catch with Calvin Johnson on that user pick. That would have been spectacular using that hype. But next play, Glover Quinn gets redemption and gets the pick right there. Defense is balling out right now. Next play, looking to take a deep shot downfield. Amari Cooper and Jameis Winston with the absolute dot right there. And that's not just a touchdown. That's a game ender, apparently. And that's going to book our trip to the Super Bowl. Guy quits pretty early. I guess he realized he was mismatched in this one. And he just takes his L and moves on. So, we're going on to the Super Bowl. It's the big game right here. Like I said, last time we played the Super Bowl was an absolute nail biter. I'm not trying to play a game like that. I would love to just blow my opponent out. But you guys know, it never comes easy. We're just going to have to fight for the victory. Fight to get that badge that you get for winning the game. That um season's pro collectible, whatever it's called. As you guys see, he runs the ball with Devontae Freeman. He had a pretty good team. He had flashback, big at quarterback as he runs the ball again with Devontae Freeman. Bringing up first down and 10. He comes out first play passing. Doesn't get the pass play off though. He's sacked by Thomas Davis. Davis a loss of 11 next play though middle of the field gets the catch and almost gets the first down third down and two coming up looking to throw a short route with Vic but he tries to take off and he's brought down by Sean Lee bringing up a fourth and three he comes out in five Why? got everything covered and he throws it in the middle of the field and gets the catch we were all over that play with Calvin Johnson I don't know how we didn't get it to be honest but um he ended up getting it somehow, some way, and his drive stays alive. I mean, 6-5 Calvin, I don't know how you throw over that. We just didn't get an animation. You see Jonathan Stewart getting the nice gain. Third down and eight, middle of the field. Got his man, I believe, Kyle Rudolph breaking tackles after getting that first down. McCourty almost in position, but he is in the red zone, moving the ball. Not a good start for our defense. You see Norman breaking up the run play right there, bringing up second down and eight, start of the second quarter, rolling out with Vic, trying to use that speed, but everything is contained. This brings up another big third down in the game. Once again, no one is open, but he does have time thanks to the three-man pass rush. And once again, he throws it over Calvin Johnson. Now it's a goal-to-go situation as that clock continues to run. He runs the ball on first down, but he goes nowhere. Devontae Freeman has struggled after starting off hot. Second down, he pitches it. Once again, going nowhere. A multitude of players stopping him. Now third down and goal looking to make the stand. Vic is broken up and thrown down. Breaks off the first attempt from Jarrell Casey, but eventually gets brought down by that rising star Zadarius Smith and a nice goal line stand. But he took up six minutes of the clock on his opening drive, and now we have less than two minutes to try to score at least a field goal, maybe a touchdown on this possession. So we're gonna have to work pretty quickly. Try to survey what he's doing, and thankfully that. That fumble went out of bounds. That could have been a big play right there. Instead, second down and five. Looking to go for it all. Looking for Cooper downfield. And Jameis again with the dot. And Amari Cooper with the stupendous catch in traffic. Next play, Odell on the drag. Getting a nice gain. I believe that's Rondé Barber that brings him down. Bringing up second down and six. Going back to Peterson. And AP, the beast he is. Breaking off a tackle. Getting to the three-yard line. Next play, Adrian Peterson punches it in for seven. That was a perfect answer for us to get seven points. We get ball coming out of half, a chance to control the tempo of this game ourselves. But 
We can't give up any points before half, especially not a touchdown. And he's looking to go deep, taking the shot in double coverage. And it's broken up. No one gets a hand of that intended for Sterling Sharp. Third down and five. Michael Vick escaping the pressure and taking off. Flashback Vick at his finest. He calls his second timeout. He runs the ball. Curious decision here. And it backfires. Now he has to use his last timeout at his own 37. Y'all are going to have to take a shot or get picked off by Calvin Johnson with three seconds left. Calvin is tackled and that gives us a chance to run one play to the end zone. Try to take a shot for Amari Cooper. Buying time. Maybe a second too long. Winston goes down. Ninkovich with the sack and that's the way the half ends. But like I said, we have a chance to control the tempo on this drive since we get ball coming out of half. A touchdown would be perfect. A field goal would be nice. But like I said, a touchdown, perfect. Second down and six. Here comes the pressure. Rolling out Winston across the body. Almost hit Marcus Colston for the first down. Now a huge third down in this game. We might go three and out, but... We might not if we continue feeding Adrian Peterson. I'm like sensing that Adrian Peterson is really willing to carry this team. Look at AP go, breaking two tackles and going all the way to the 45. Ninkovich brings him down. Next play, AP again, going up the field right there. Getting some good blocks and getting a gain of five. And AP is ready to play some playoff ground and pound football. We're ready to go deep for Odell, but Jameis is not. Jameis Winston overthrows what could have been a touchdown third down and five. Once again, a big third down on the drive. And once again, we convert this time we go for it all Martellus Bennett the third string tight end in the middle of the field takes it for the touchdown and now it's off to the defense one stand should end this game but he gets to catch in the middle of the field on the first play of offense next play Calvin Johnson almost gets a spectacular user pick Calvin is close he is ready he's going deep on the next play and he's got his man Andre Reed on the catch he had quite a few legends on his squad as well and now he's in the red zone rolling out throwing and picked off David Emerson I said we didn't get rid of him but we will put him in situationally and I subbed him out for McCordy after McCordy missed that ball in the first quarter and David Emerson answered the bell he earned a spot to stay on the team and Adrian Peterson's on this team for life not just because I love him because he is a elite we can't sell so I gotta have AP whether he plays good or bad, but thankfully AP is playing like a beast. Gets big hit right there, but that's gonna take us to the fourth quarter. Now, we're just gonna kill this clock, unless we can get a touchdown right here on second down. We're gonna take a little shot for Odell on the flea flicker, going deep one-on-one -on -one against Ronde, and Odell almost caught the spectacular catch instead, third down and one. One more time, we have to convert a third down, and one more time we do, and of course, it's Adrian Peterson, the workhorse, just continuing to answer the bell when his number is called AP. Trying to back Juke. Still gets a gain of six on that one. That clock continues to tick. Two minutes, 50 seconds left. Trying to get hit AP out the backfield, but um, AP is not exactly the receiving threat that you might think at running back. You see third down and four. We do not get the first down. Huge play call right here. We are going for it. I want to get this first down. We have an unbalanced line to the left, so we're going to run it with Peterson and AP easily gets that first down he pinched the middle we've been running that inside zone to the left or right all game long i don't know why he didn't account for it but that gets us an easy first down puts us in field goal range he goes off sides right there so even though ap gets a gain of five we're gonna accept the penalty so we can bring up a new set of downs anyways right and had that clock stop but we declined it i believe but all that strategy doesn't really matter because we end up winning the game since he quits out on this play and that gives us the super bowl victory second super bowl one in a row with the budget squad and leave a like in this video if you guys enjoyed the game if you guys enjoyed the Super Bowl victory subscribe for more and I will catch you guys next time for the start of the next season with the budget squad